This project is titled Identity Development in African American College Students, and it aims to identify evidence-based methods to reduce racial and ethnic disparities in college dropout rates by fostering racial ethnic identity development among Black college students. Shapiro and colleagues found that 45.9% of Black students complete their undergraduate degree in six years, which is the lowest rate compared to other races and ethnicities. It's known that a healthy identity status promotes successful college adjustment, and it has also been shown that racial identity status among African American college students has been associated with psychological well being. Multiple studies show that students with high levels of individualization and a secure personal identity status tend to have better resources to meet the demands of college adjustment. Racial identity status has been found to be a significant predictor of academic success and social adjustment among Black college students. In 2001, Schwartz found that race and ethnicity represent an additional domain in which racial and ethnic minorities develop secure personal identities. Since then, there was a call to integrate personal identity theories and REI theories, and researchers such as Shor and Sneed have begun to do so. However, there have not been any interventions which have integrated the two theories. Currently, there are a few interventions which target emerging adults and college students. Schwartz and colleagues developed the Exploration Enhancement Workshop, which is a group-based empowerment approach designed to help participants identify challenges and work together to solve them. They found that the cognitive strategies were effective in promoting self-construction and the emotional strategies were effective in promoting self-discovery of identity processes. Berman and colleagues developed a Daytona Identity Development Program, which was designed to enhance self-understanding and insight and teach critical thinking and problem-solving skills. They found an increase in identity exploration among participants, and the number of participants in the Identity Achieved Status Group significantly increased by the end of the program. Mecca and colleagues developed the Miami Adult Development Project. This program was designed to promote in-depth self-exploration to build upon personal strength and to build social support through the peer-led group structure. Participation was associated with decreased identity stress, which mediated positive change in identity, identity consolidation. Increases in identity consolidation were associated with increases in well-being. None of these interventions, which I just spoke about, include an REI component. Knowing what we know from Schwartz's findings in 2001, the inclusion of REI may make these established interventions more effective for racial and ethnic minorities, especially African-American students who would benefit the most from adopting skills which foster college adjustment. In the future, researchers may wish to explore whether current REI interventions for adolescents could be adapted for emerging adults. One recommendation is to take REI concepts and components and integrate them into empirically supported personal identity interventions, such as the ones mentioned before. Umana Taylor and colleagues developed the Identity Project which is an empirically supported REI intervention targeted to adolescents. This intervention can be adapted or integrated into a personal identity intervention and create a cohesive program for emerging adults and college students, which would benefit African Americans and hopefully decrease that disparity seen in college dropout rates. 